Hello guys, good evening. Hello, are you there guys? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, how's everything? How have you been? Um, it's been a long time without seeing us. <laughs> All is good. Oh, yeah, that's great. That's great. What about you? Ah, I've oh. been in uh, very hard situations. Uh, yesterday, I, I do really sorry about yesterday, guys. I couldn't, uh, you know, notify you about my situation. I had an emergency with my baby. So he got sick. He was with fever and everything. And when I came, uh, you know, from work, because it was like a little bit late. So I was coming home at about what? It was uh, 7.40, like 7.40. So, and when I noticed that my baby was sick, so I took him to the doctor. So I couldn't, I just, I just told uh, these people from uh, Inglés Corporativo and they told me, okay, we will notify the group that the class will be canceled. So, uh, but it was like 8.15 and I saw that some of you were texting me, telling me that, you were waiting for me and I was like, what? They haven't told anybody to these people. So uh, so I, I I talked to them again and they told you like the classes were canceled. So that's the reason why I couldn't be here with you guys yesterday, right? So that I just want to apologize because of that, right? So, but yeah, we're gonna, you know, like reschedule that, that, that class. All right to the following week that's what we're going to uh do basically all right so but i think it is not going to be like you know like a big deal guys so how's everything guys how was your week how was your weekend what have you guys done are you there nobody's like with the cameras on Please, guys, turn on your cameras. I want to see you. It's just me, and 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 I feel like like really alone in here. Guys, are you there? Yes, here I am here. I think I don't know. <laughs> The people don't want to speak. Yes, I don't know why, guys. Uh, at the beginning, the first week, I remember everybody was like participating. Everybody was like very active, and now you're hiding and with the cameras on. What's wrong with you guys? Remember that the most, the more, the more you practice, the better you will be. All right. Okay, so. Ah, let me see now uh, you're turning at your camera that's cool guys that's cool okay great so what have you guys been doing this this past three days and i mentioned in three days because it was saturday sunday and yesterday <laughs> all right so uh, at least yesterday you could have sleep earlier than you know uh these days i mean and i think it, the next week is the holy week right guys Yes. It's Hollywood. Yeah. Ah, okay, cool. So we're going to have vacations. That's nice. Yeah, I think we're going to have the we're whole week. The whole All week. the week, teacher. Yeah, apparently yes. the whole week. Mm, yeah, because we are predicted to finish this module. Give me one second. It's going to be... Uh, Give me one second. I'm gonna show this thing. Okay, this is the fourth week that we are doing. So we are going to finish this module, guys. Okay, it was predicted for Friday the 14th, but since we didn't have the class yesterday, we are going to finish on Monday the 17th. Okay. Just, you know, replacing the class that we didn't have yesterday. So it's going to be on Monday the 17th. From April, of course, right? Because uh, next week, 
uh, we are not going to have classes, right? Okay, so let's uh, start, guys. I'm just going ahead and pass the attendance list. Give me one second. Just to start with the content. Give me a second. What happened to this computer? The less I use this computer, the craziest it, it becomes. Give me a second, guys. So before starting with this, I need to reload these things. Give me a second. It's not here. Oh, it's this one. Okay, good. Let's start. Carmen Eugenia. It's Carmen Eugenia here. Give me one second, guys. Okay, uh, Christian Alejandro. Present. Okay, excellent. Uh, Daniel Alquimides. Present. Okay, nice. Daisy Maricela. Is Daisy here? Mm, okay, so she's not here yet. Edwin Alexander. All right, apparently he's there. Okay, great. You're there, but as a listener, right? Uh, Elwin Vladimir. Okay, so it's not here. Estela Mabel. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening, okay, perfect. Fatima Adriana. Present. Okay, nice. Fatima Lourdes. Present. Good evening. Good evening. Okay. Jaime Antonio. Present. Good evening. Good evening. Okay. Eduardo Jose. Present. Okay. Good. Carla Lisset. Here. Good evening. Okay. Good. Good evening. Uh, Kenia Cecilia. Present. Okay, excellent. Lorena Beatriz. Lorena Beatriz. All right, so she's not here yet. Manuel Antonio. Present. Good evening. Good evening. Okay. Uh, Maria Gabriela. Present. Okay, perfect. Mary Raquel. Hmm. Okay, Mira's not here. Noemi Betsabe. Yes, I'm here, present. Okay, great. Osbin Alexis. Present. Okay, excellent. All right, guys, so let's start. Uh, we are going to change a little bit of a topic related to the ones that we were discussing last you know, like the, the previous week and the one before. And now we're gonna continue talking about logistics, but now we're gonna be focusing not in the aspects of transportation, but in the warehouse aspect. Okay, so we're going to just to continue, you know, like with this uh, series of topics and uh, the topic that we're just going to be discussing tonight, guys, it's just going to be describe. We're going to be describing basically the fundamentals of warehouse management. Okay, that's like what we are just going to be discussing. And for that, guys, I just want to go ahead with you straight to the manuals. So I want you to open up your manuals for the ones who got the manuals in the computer or the ones who got the manuals on papers, open up the manuals on page 25, okay? 25. 
give me a second. I'm just going to share uh, that with you guys. It's got to be here. Over here. It says, I will be able to, or in this case, students will be able to describe it as the fundamentals of warehouse management. <sighs> so in here, we are going to start discussing this kind of questions that we have in here. And I would like to start with someone to read the first question. Uh, Osbin, can you please be so kind and read the first question for me? <clears throat> okay. What? will happen if the warehouse of a very busy company reaches its maximum capacity? Ah, okay, thank you. Listen up, guys. This is the first question that we're going to be discussing. What will happen if the warehouse, if a very busy company reaches its maximum capacity? Okay, keep that in mind. And the second question that we're going to be discussing is going to be, Gabby, let me read it. With the second question? Yeah, the second one. How would avoid uh, overcrowding in a warehouse? Okay, how will avoid overcrowding in a warehouse? Listen guys, because I know you now, I know that you are not going to, you know, like be participative with me right now. Okay, because every time I tell you, hey guys, it's time to discuss this, what you do is like turn off your cameras and your microphones and put in parentheses listener sometimes. <laughs> That's funny. What we are going to be doing, it's like, listen, uh, we're gonna go over the breakout rooms. I will let you, you know, to, to participate uh, among you because you feel more confident talking to you you know, like as classmates and not to the teacher. I don't know why that happens, but it happens. All right. So I will send you to discuss these questions for about 10 minutes. Okay. Now, when you gather ideas with your classmates, you're going to come here and tell me what you were discussing as a group. Okay. We're going to be working that way. This, you know, a uh, couple of days that are missing to finish the module. And I think it works because I listen uh, to you speak. I listen to you like participate that way. So let's just discuss these questions over here, okay? Then we're gonna come back in here and you're gonna tell me what you have been discussing with your classmates, okay? Like that. So I'm, as I said, I'm not going to ask you right now because you are, you are not going to participate. So you need to be, you know, like active with your classmates. But before sending up uh, the work, uh, I would like to know if Jaime and uh, uh, Eduardo, can you participate? Because I see that you, you got the parentheses as listeners. And Edwin. Hello, teacher. At this moment, I can't, but I, I think I can participate in 20 minutes. In 20 minutes, okay. But anyways, I will I will send you to a breakout room so you can listen what your classmates are going to be talking about, okay? Even though you are not going to participate. Uh, Thank you. All right, Elwin, you gonna participate right now? I guess not, because you got a uh, listening, as a listener. Yes, I, 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 I can right now, I'm still working in the chat. Ah, okay, all right, no problem. And I guess Jaime is the same, the same way. All right. So you are three. Okay, so I'm gonna put it manually. Okay, I'm just gonna send one person like that. Okay, we'll be you with more people so that way. You are not going to be just alone. Hmm. 
Give me a second, guys. I just messed up on something in here. And I just need to change it. Okay, good. Let's accept it. Just discuss, okay? Then we're gonna come back. Let's accept to start the breakout rooms, please. Pati Martiga, can you participate? Uh, you cannot participate at the moment. Sorry, I cannot participate right now because I'm not in my home. Ah, okay. Um, ah, okay. Okay. So the first question, uh huh. Yeah, just say it. Uh -huh. <laughs> the first question is what will happen? if the warehouse of a very busy company reaches its maximum capacity? How will you avoid overcrowding in, war, in a warehouse? Hmm. I don't know. I think that uh, if if they are rich, his maximum capacity. I think he can send into another warehouse, maybe, or they have to move the 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 goods slowly than the other warehouse. But think think on that. Think on this situation. If they do that, the product can be damaged. Mm -hmm. If they use another warehouse, they have to pay extra. So there's more money in, in, in that you can lose. Okay, think think on that option. Okay. Okay. Reach it. I understand uh, that the the first question. Um, it's about um, it's about a, a scenario, right? Uh, if um a busy company um have a warehouse uh without a, a space, I think. Yes, yes. Uh, if the company doesn't have a space, um. That company need a uh, other company of the logistic or keep your product. Right? Yes. What do you think, Daniel? Give me a second. Uh, what is the question? Please, sorry, repeat. Number one, what will happen if the warehouse of a very busy company reaches a, its a maximum capacity? What happens when a busy reaches it, its a maximum capacity? 
try to find another. <laughs> Sorry, man. But, Sorry, I was li I was speaking to myself. Ah, Jesus Christ! I always forget when I turn. Okay. Around. Listen, <laughs> listen. Just take this in consideration. If a, a warehouse reaches its maximums, probably, probably it will be in serious problems because remember, yeah. every day or every week, uh, a lot of products are going to that warehouse. If they reach the maximum capacity, it means that they are going to damaged product. Or if they want uh, to hire an extra warehouse, that inquires in more money. So they are losing money in that way. So look at that, that, that point also, okay? Yes, we need to uh, hire a TPL company. But what if the warehouse is the TPL company? <laughs> take that in consideration what if the the the, the warehouse i mean the the 3pl company uh, no, the other start... company uh, uh, hi, I, yeah. I, I, teacher i understand that that warehouse is my my warehouse in my company if my warehouse in my company is a it's a maximum capacity we need hire other company the 3pl but you have to think on this, Osmin. Why the warehouse it reaches the maximum? Why? Probably there is yeah. a there is a problem in there. Yes, maybe maybe it's possible. Um, the company have more products of uh, of the sales. That can be one option, or or probably the product it doesn't have an enough movement. It's just a story, ah. a story, a story, and that's it. Don't sell. Ah, you see? Exactly. So look mm, at that okay. also, okay? <laughs> okay, teacher. All right. Okay. I do you say parcial. No. Sorry, parcial. Parcial. Mm, to to empty maybe. Yeah, empty. Let me see. Ah, okay, thank you. Offered for empty. I don't know t about topic teacher. It's very 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 difficult to me. <laughs> uh, I mean, let's remember. Let's remember that in here you are giving opinions. Okay, I'm not. Give, I'm not going to be like super strict and tell okay. hey, Stella, you have to explain this to me like a professional. <laughs> there, all right. Uh, uh, of course, no. It's just sharing opinions. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But take this Thank in consideration, uh, girls, that in this case. Mm -hmm. If a warehouse reaches its maximum, oh, it's because yeah. probably there is a problem. Mm -hmm. Estela has two ideas. <laughs> Pick her. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. She has two great well, ideas gonna... for that. <laughs> okay, cool. So you're going to tell me those ideas in the main section, okay? <laughs> good, good, good. Okay. <laughs> They need to to get a new warehouse urgently. <laughs> yeah. Or to sell the product in no home for empty. Hmm. Yeah. Makes sense. Makes sense. Okay. All right. <laughs> we will see that, that when we come back to the make section. <laughs> yeah. I have been listening okay. that in the previous groups also. <laughs> For another warehouse. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. cool. Let's continue with the other question, okay? Okay. For the uh, overcrowding, for the overcrowding, for the overcrowding uh, products uh, uh, in this case, but I don't know. <clears throat> in this case, um, I never, in my, I never in my life <laughs> work and, and, and this. 
and, and the situation, the, the logistic or a different, uh, a different uh, storage. Yes, I understand. But um, maybe if, for the second question, I think it's important to have uh, inventory management efficiently because when you have okay. um, this topic in a good in a good way, you can know uh, which product do you have uh, do you have more I think I, I agree with you I agree with you I, I understand and I think so is when 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 the inventory the, the, the when the inventory the products in the in the warehouse is a lot is is the 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 manage the manager the manage the manager no the ma the manager should 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 buy a more 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 product. Don't buy more and okay. uh, they can promote the this product. Okay. For sale. For sale. Is necessary looking for the new, the new, the new customer when, when the when the when the warehouse is full the for the stock product. Okay. <laughs> yeah, in, in this case when the when the the warehouse is a, a overcrowding is the is the product and the water when the warehouse Jesus Christ, I got the, that 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 kind of thing that I when I when I turn off my microphone, I start talking and I don't notice that I got the microphone off. <laughs> I wasn't speaking to myself. Did you guys participate each other? Uh you got the your opinions about uh, both questions? Everything okay now? Yes, we can. Uh we we continue thinking about the second question. The second question. Okay, what was the second question about? Let me see what it says. Ah, how to avoid a crowd in a, a, a warehouse. Ah, okay, good. Yeah, because if a warehouse gets crowded or reaches its maximum, it's because there's a problem. A problem is happening. How to avoid that issue? Think a little bit more on that, okay? I will give you two more minutes to think. Okay. All right. Um, uh, uh, um, expand the warehouse. Well, is the, well, uh, let me see. It make it not much production. Because if be if they are overcrowding, it is necessary to do a lot of products production. I think. Yes, maybe maybe they need um re revaluate revaluate um the policy the inventory policy maybe. You see the. With that, um, I yeah, think I, uh, I don't this topic <laughs> is very specific to like business. <laughs> it's very specific like to industry. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. No, but industry too. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Or 
Yeah, and me too. It's very <laughs> difficult to express an idea. Yeah, because of the vocabulary, right? We don't uh, yes. use that vocabulary. Yeah. Yes. We're like basic. <laughs> but we are going to try. <laughs> yeah. We are okay. ready, teacher. You're ready? Okay, perfect. Yeah, I think. <laughs> I'm dealing with this computer, man. I don't know why it's not charging. Good. Yeah. Great. Mm -hmm. I want to listen to you guys in the main session, okay? Let's go. I think it's okay. nice. Uh, okay. Discuss this. Okay. okay. See you there. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, guys, you're coming back. Everybody has already participated. Everybody has been giving their opinions. So I think you are kind of ready. All right, just to give me a piece of information that you were sharing with your classmates. So who wants to start, people? Who wants to start? Everybody is going to give me an opinion, everybody, okay? Not only one, because I want everybody to participate, everybody to practice, that's the idea, guys, on this, okay? So the first question says, what will happen if there, if the warehouse of a very busy, uh, busy company reaches its maximum capacity? Who wants to be the first one? In uh, giving the opinion. Maybe I teach. <laughs> okay, cool. There you go. Okay, good evening, everybody. Right. Well, about the first question, mm -hmm. I think um uh like we're talking in, in our space <laughs> with my partners. Uh -huh. uh, is maybe the, the, the cause is maybe worried worrying because maybe the company is Pro, um have a, a more production have more production uh than than sales maybe and it's possible um they people have to review um the production and the sales maybe mm -hmm. okay who was working with you mary um Daniel and Osby. Okay. What do you guys think? Uh, what will happen if the warehouse is very busy company reaches at the maximum capacity? Uh, I think that uh, the company that's possible have a lot of production uh, that's not necessary. Uh, other other possibility that the warehouse egg was easy and the maximum capacity. Uh, that's the uh, is uh, the solid person uh, doesn't doesn't works well because the don sales uh, and not production for the company. I think. Mm -hmm. yeah, the, yeah, the company are producer a lot of product, well, a lot of product, and doesn't sell product. Is the reason that warehouse is a maximum capacity? Mm, okay, okay, good point. Thank you, Osbin. Thank you, Daniel and Mary. Okay, at the end we'll, we're gonna set up a, a you know a general uh a opinion on that. Good, thank you to you guys. Christian, what about you and your team? What do you discuss okay. about this? Okay, well, we discuss about the those, uh, those questions. Uh -huh. And we think that the full warehouse can, you, can cause uh, difficulty in moving goods efficiently, of course, and which could slow down production. Mm -hmm. And for example, if the product are organic, they may have an expiration date maybe, and we can lose money too. 
And also with so looking for another warehouse, you can lose money too. That's all. All right. Who was working with you? I uh, was working with um, Kenya and Fatima Lourdes. All right. What do you girls think about it? Something else to say? Yes, teacher. Uh, the we were discussing that uh, if you have if you exceed the capacity of your warehouse, mm -hmm. it can increase the cost of F extra warehouse because the need the product needs more space and maybe you have to move to another place that is it has its cost and can damage the product and if the product is like food it can expire inside the warehouse and there are costs too ah, okay okay good good view there you go uh kenya something else to add to what your classmates have said Okay, what will happen if the warehouse all very busy? Um, for me, mm -hmm. the the company have to to move look look ways for move the inventory. I I don't know maybe sales uh -huh. of how do you say ofertas offers 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 for move the inventory and reduce the the quantity of the inventory oh okay oh, okay oh, and, and strategy. Well, mm -hmm. for me the company have to to do a better planification ah okay a better planning Yes, okay. better planning because they have to buy the necessary or depending on what the the customer want. Ah, okay, okay. Don't try to move the, the inventory that are on in Spanish we we say pegado. I don't know how do you say that in English. Pegado, attached. The inventory that don't move. Ah, it's like attached. Yes, or is obsolete or slow moving. Ah, okay, okay. It makes sense what you said, all right. Very good. Thank you, Kenya. Okay, great. And uh, now, do, 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 Noemi. Um, in our case, we discuss um, two cases. In uh -huh. one case, one case is when you you have your own warehouse. For example, when you are the 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 seller. Ah, okay. When you are the seller, I have the warehouse with a with the um, most product is not good because you have to move your your stock and uh, in this case it is because you don't sell enough product uh, uh -huh. another situation in is when you are a 3pl company for example mm -hmm. in this case can be good because you have a lot of clients that they rent a space for 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 uh, their product for have for have their product in in, in their warehouse. Mm -hmm. uh, for us, uh, they, they these are the the situation. Ah, okay, okay. When you are a client, when you are the provider of the warehousing service. Uh, okay, all right, makes sense. Thank you, Noemi. Very good. Gabby? 
what else can you add to what uh, Noemi said? Uh, that probably that it should be the like be um probably what will happen that probably they will lose up uh, some products or they could be been sealed. Where how do you say expired. that? Expired. Expired. Uh, well, and, and that would be like um, prevent if you have a, re a really good communication between the man manager of the warehouse and also for the personnel that um, um, ask for more products to the company. Okay, all right, it makes sense. And the last one, let me see e -d 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 right now, okay, from this group, Manuel. What else can you, you know, like add something to remark from what Gabby and Noemi were saying? Okay. And, and we discuss is, is we will discuss is it's necessary to, to know to inventory and, and the warehouse is when, when the products next to, to expire, it's necessary to move the product and looking for the new the new customer and for for move the product is necessary um, to create a, a a a new a new campaign for different advertisements and add add NTB and, and radio and newspaper and for for the move the product and for, for the move the product and the and the and the warehouse. Ah okay. Only that. Okay. All right. It makes sense. Thank you, Manuel. Good. And the last uh pair, Carla. Hello. <laughs> I was working with Stella. The first question, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, for me, uh, <laughs> I would be a little bit shocked with this question. <laughs> maybe imagine that you're telling me this, or maybe you're asking me this, like, hey, you know what? My warehouse is actually reaches its maximum capacity. I would be like shocked when you say, like, I mean, I would think, what would you do with all the products? <laughs> That you produce is as you are a busy company <laughs> you have a lot of products so maybe one of my advice will be like hiding a warehousing service like maybe you can hire a 3 a, a company that can uh give you a warehousing service because you maybe will lose all the uh the products that you have if you don't store them so uh, that's one of the things that we were uh, talking or we were discussing with Stella and she she will say that, but um, one of the thing is that maybe they can hire another like warehouse to store them. So maybe Stella uh, can say the two ideas that she has. Yeah, I mean, I was, I, I was actually okay. about to start. Thank you, Carla. Thank you, Carla. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, I think in that because I, I don't know a lot of uh, very much al, uh, about the topic, but uh, I think when I has um, a, a warehouse complete uh, with a pro with the product, mm -hmm. I need a, a new warehouse or I need to sell the product. Uh, very quickly and for that reason uh, for that I need to pay, to put the product in offer or um, uh, Carla say about the organize and to see what product is uh, most important to to sell in the in the moment and uh, to to put in for this this product, mm -hmm. but enough for the product. It makes sense, but okay, we will talk about that later because it's interesting that that kind of uh, situation that you that you posted. Okay, uh, Elwin, T 
Tell me that what you what what you wrote there. Tell me that. You know, like in, as part of the discussion. What is we? Edwin Vladimir. You there, sir? All right, as I, I thought he was there. Uh, let me see. Ah, okay, okay, Edwin. Okay, what Edwin says is like, what I said about this question is like the company will increase its production costs, which means uh, that the company could lose money. All right, hiring an extra warehouse to keep their goods and products safe. Yeah, actually, it inquires in, listen, the idea that most of you got, it, it was like kind of okay, right? To hire an extra uh, a warehouse. But remember guys, if you do that, if you got a warehouse and your main you know, function is like uh, gather the product and release the product for, for customers and everything. And if you reaches your maximum, it inquires that probably you are going to lose money because the trailers that are going to get to your uh, warehouse are going to be stopped, right? So, so by consequence, the product might be lost. And uh, probably if you're a third party logistics provider, just imagine, which is will be like very uh, difficult situation. All right, if you reach your maximums, it means that probably the people that you are working with do not have like the, you know, like the capacity to move all the products and spread the product all over the customers. Or oh, if they lost, uh, they lose a customer, they have to reach out another customer, right? Just to have a transit, okay? for the product. So in that case, you might not get these issues. Okay, that's that's like one point. What about the second question, guys? It says, how will avoid overcoming in a warehouse, overcrowding actually in a warehouse? Just give me a brief idea about what you think on that. Uh, and I'm gonna start with Estela. Estela, how to avoid overcrowding in a warehouse? Just give me your, your short idea and that's it. The, that's the second question, Estela. Okay, thank you. I, but it's very difficult because uh, if you have um, overcrowding, maybe your product is not good and <laughs> you have to sell very quickly this and, <laughs> uh -huh. and uh, to, to avoid the overcrowding in the, in, in, in the warehouse and in um in your place in your company but um uh, or to 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 make less product if you have an inventory very high i think mm -hmm. <laughs> it makes sense what you said but remember that the mentality of uh production companies to be creating more and more and more, right? And if you if reduce the, the productivity, it's like if you're going down, going up, going up, suddenly you're I, gonna be like going down. But that's one strategy, right? The one that you're saying, it might be possible. Okay, all right. Uh, Mary, what about you, Mary? What you discuss with your classmates? And the second question. Yeah. Well, we um, we we had a discussion mm -hmm. um, talking about talking about um, maybe a storage systems. The importance of storage systems. I I said um, to Daniel and. And and Austin, <laughs> yeah. that maybe it's possible the company need uh, to have a emergency meeting <laughs> to yeah. analyze the system to be storage because the company need more uh, racks 
to storage the product. And this is the, the, the reason for all the product uh, on floor, maybe. But need uh, have a, a, a deeply uh, analysis about that with all the areas. Yeah. All right. And yeah, this is my 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 opinion. And and I told uh, that this possible is the reason, and and that the company need this system or of storage. Ah, okay. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Mary. Uh, like just to share, just to share uh, maybe the company need to uh, put the product in, in order, need a, a more control in, in other option. Maybe maybe the company have a lot of product because doesn't sell the product. Uh, they need a put offer. They need to set offers. Yes. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. All right, it makes sense what you said. Okay, thank you. Thank you, husband. Uh, mm -hmm. Gabby? Um, well, like I mentioned before, probably they have to improve their communication and foresee that what will happen if they if they um, don't sell the the product that they have already. Um, like Osgin said, they probably will could uh, offer would offer some product um, to sell them, not to lose, or um, yeah, not to lose uh, or waste the new product that is coming. Ah, okay, okay. Thank you, thank you. Noemi? I think the, <clears throat> the best way for avoid uh, the overcrowding in a warehouse is with, with a good inventory management. Ah, okay. With a good inventory management. Actually, actually yeah, they, they play, uh, it plays a very important role in, in in the warehouse, yeah. Okay. Yes, I I I tell to the parents when I work in another job, mm -hmm. uh, we have a big warehouse, but uh, normally uh, some some products are uh, discontinued, ah. and we have a uh, a specific place that the this. These products, uh, they finally in this place because mm. um, these products uh, can sell because are discontinued. Ah. Um, yes. Uh, it's together the, with the products that are, you know, like uh, going and out, right? Yes. Normally, the product can be can be discontinued or or it can be uh, broken or or damaged, uh, whatever problem. But mm -hmm. the the final destination is the is this was this place uh -huh. Uh -huh. was this place in the warehouse. Uh -huh. um, this this problem can can be a can be avoided. But in this moment, the company doesn't have a good a good inventory management because, for example, in the system, the the inventory uh, was wrong. And another problem, but uh, in this case, is um, all these problems can be avoided with a good inventory management. Ah, okay. All right. Excellent. Eric and Amy, thank you. Okay. And I would just, uh, one, one last participation because it's like, uh, we need to move on guys. Um, Carla. Okay. Um, to avoid overcrowding, uh, we were discussing that maybe uh, it's needed the organization of, you know, like the inventory or something 
about the products, right? Maybe if we have like a list of the products that are going to be sold first and other lists that maybe uh, the products that maybe we're going to sell later. So we, we have the organization of the products and we have this first and then these later and we're going to produce these and we're going to sell them. Then we have the other and we're going to sell them. So it's it's kind of maybe like a circle or something that maybe will help us to have this kind of organization and coordination of the things maybe. And as we do this and we will avoid I think the overcrowding because we will wouldn't have all of the products at the same time. Maybe we will have the we're going to be the first and the others are going to be the later. <laughs> and those things uh, we were discussing that. Okay, all right, it makes sense. Thank you, Carla. Okay, great. That's great. All right, guys. Yeah, and basically uh, part of what you were saying it's like like true, right? Like. How to avoid our, our crowd in, in a warehouse? Actually, that's a very difficult situation because uh, as part of Noemi were saying, you need to have a very good inventory management. If you don't have that, these kind of issues might happen to you. And uh, basically what it inquires is like, you are going to be losing money, right? And uh, that's what companies uh, don't really want, right? To be, you know, like getting money here, fly away from them, right? Okay, that's that's uh, like one of the things that they don't really want to happen. Okay, now in here, what we're going to, to do, it's like to use to uh, see a situation in this conversation, guys, related to uh, that situation. It says in here, listen, Rose and Meth are discussing a storage problem. They are facing at the warehouse where they hold their shipments. Read and practice the conversation, it says. Okay, so we got this conversation here between Rose and Meth. We're gonna read the conversation and then we're gonna make a short practice and uh, we're gonna answer these three questions that we got in here below, guys. Okay, let's go into it. It says, Rose, sir, we just received a call from the warehouse. The last shipment arrived today, and it seems they don't have more space to store our product. It says math. That is a very expensive shipment. Our products will get damaged if they left lying anywhere. Can they arrange for the transportation of this shipment to a different warehouse? It says, Rose, yes, sir. They ask if we have some other warehouse we could use. And it says, Matt, we, I will get the document ready to outsource this shipment to a temporal warehouse. It is costly, it means it costs money, but the product comes first. Okay, so in here is a situation, right? Now guys, any question with a vocabulary word from this conversation that probably it's a no for you? Or probably the pronunciation of a word that probably you don't know? Oh, everything is okay. Related to that conversation. Everything okay? No questions? All right, perfect. We're gonna do exactly the same that we have been doing before, guys. We're gonna go practice this conversation for a short time. Then I want you to complete, guys, these questions. It says, per word. Discuss the answers to the questions below. It says, what happened to Matt's current warehouse? Okay, so you're going to discuss that with your classmate. Then it says, what could happen to the shipment if it is not carefully stopped? I mean, stored. And then number three, what does Matt do about the problem? Okay, so 
give them an answer right after you finish the discussion of these questions. I mean, uh, this, uh, you know, like conversation practice. Let me see. I'm gonna remake the groups just to send you guys because you are too many people in there. And I'm just going to reassign you guys. Give me a second. Hmm. Okay, guys, accept to enter to the breakout rooms, please. Did everybody joined? Uh, yeah, I mean, everybody's joined. Transportation of the, the student to a different warehouse? Yes, sir. They ask if we have some other warehouse we call use. I will get the documents ready to our, our, our source. These shipments to a temporary warehouse. It is costly, but the product comes first. Okay, now we, we can switch. Another, we, but we have another co partner. Oh, Edward. Uh, but he is in a, in a, uh, he's like he's a, a listener. listener. Oh. Okay, okay, I, I start now. Okay. Sir, we just received a call from the warehouse. The last shipment arrived today in and it seems to they don't have more space to store our products. That is a very expensive shipment. Our products will get damaged if they are left lying anywhere. Can they arrange for the transportation of this shipment to a different warehouse? Yes, sir. They asked if we have some other warehouse we call use. I will get the documents ready to outsource the shipment to a temporal warehouse. It is costly, but the products come first. Okay. okay. Now the questions. Oh, okay, the question. Yeah, but if, but if you want to practice again, we can practice. <laughs> If if we have time uh, after, okay, we can practice again. But uh, now we can uh, answer the questions. That is a very exp expensive shipment. Our product will get damaged if they are left in lying anywhere. Can they arrange for the transportation of this shipment to a different? Friend warehouse? Yes, sir. They asked if we have some other warehouse we could use. I will get the documents ready to outsource the shipment, this shipment to a temporal warehouse. It is cost, costly, but the product comes first. Okay, one more time. Switch your route. Sir, we just received a call from the warehouse. The last shipment arrived today, and it seems they don't have more space to store our product. That is very expensive shipping. 
our product will get damaged if they are left laying anywhere. Can they arrange for the transportation and this shipment to a different warehouse? Yes, sir. They ask if we have some other warehouse we could use. I will get the document ready to outsource this shipment to a temporary warehouse. It is costly, but the product comes first. Okay, okay. in case clear this conversation, um, uh -huh. we resolve the part number three. Okay, the first question is what happened at Matt current warehouse? Mm. They, Matt, they don't have and they don't have more space to store they pro his product mm -hmm. and they don't have more space for yes okay second what could happen to the shipment if it is not careful it if it is not careful stored mm, the product will get damaged if they if they are left lying anywhere yes there they he will get the documents ready maybe to outsource well and the shipment uh, the shipment to a temporary warehouse maybe mm -hmm. i think that they yeah. when when you finish you get the questions. Uh, okay. You finish? <laughs> yeah. And and the and the first is the problem is the space for the the space the space for the yeah. for the house for the warehouse. The warehouse. <laughs> the warehouse. Yeah. Yeah. The, the space for the war. Warehouse. 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 Yeah. Warehouse. Right, yes. It's a uh how do we say it is not a paragraph, but when it is rose, there is the answer. The last sentence, maybe it says the warehouse don't have more space to store. The products, maybe you can write. Yeah. Okay. Wait. Okay. In the second answer, well, the answer for the second question is when it says Matt, because Matt says products will get damaged. I don't know if you find it. Products will get damaged if they are left lying anywhere. That's the answer for the second question. <laughs> Maybe what we, we think about it. The problem is, is the, the, line, the line for the, for the, for the damage. Yeah, the products is that the I mean the problem is that the products with gamma damage will get damaged if they don't if they are not stored in the warehouse. So uh, that's uh -huh, that's the second question, right? That what will happen with the shipment? And the last question is in Matt again when it, it's the last part and it says that Matt will get the documents ready to outsource the shipment to a temporary warehouse. That's the answer number. Well, the answer of the question number three. three. Okay. Three. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Nice. So we finished. Nice, nice. So I'll go ahead and check on another one. Okay. <laughs> Do I have a problem? Um, he, he 
going to have outdoors treatment other temporal warehouse. Yes, they they we they must get the document for uh, outsourcing uh, temporary warehouse. Okay. I think we finish. Yes. We finish. Nice, nice. Uh, the best is associate associate the word with the image. Yes, when you have a, a, another idea. Yeah, right. Idea. Because, yes. because if you memorize, you you lost the word and the meaning. <laughs> you have to associate the word <laughs> yeah. with uh, some figure. See, figure? I'll say figure. Figure. <laughs> Maybe. Uh -huh. Figure, yeah. Figure. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's yes. let's go practice, Noemi. Okay, sir, we just received received a call from the warehouse. The last shipment arrived today, and it seems they don't have more space to store our product. That is a very expensive shipment. Our products will get damaged if they are left lying anywhere. Can they arrange for the transportation of the shipment to a different warehouse? Yes, sir. They ask if we have some other warehouse we could use. I will get the documents ready to outsource <laughs> this shipment to a temporal warehouse. It is costly, but the product come first. Okay, okay. maybe change. <laughs> okay. Now mm -hmm. I am Rose. Okay, sir, we just received a call from the warehouse. The last shipment arrived today and it seems uh, they don't have more space to store our products. That is a very expensive shipment. Our product will get damaged if they are left lying anywhere. Can they arrange for the transportation of this shipment to a different warehouse? Yes, sir. They asked if we had some other warehouse we could use. I will get the documents ready to source this shipment to a temporary warehouse. It is costly, but the products come first. Okay. Okay. That's great. We finished this. Okay, very good. If you have already finished, uh, let's go to the main section, okay? Okay. 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 Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Noemi. Thank you, Rakia. All right, guys, I just want to listen to you first practicing the short conversation. I'm, I'm just going to share uh, the manual. Give me a second. And uh, then we are going to answer the questions, OK? All right, so I got it here. Okay, let's just start over. Uh, Mary, you're the first one that appears on my screens here, so um, you're gonna be the, you're gonna be the first one uh, that I want you to participate. You were with uh, Noemi, right? Right. Okay. There you go. Let's practice. I want to listen. Okay. 
Let's go. Noemi, do you want did you want do you want uh to be Rose or Matt? Uh, Rose, that's good. Okay. okay. Let's go. Sir, we just received receive a call from the warehouse. The last shipment arrived today, and it seems they don't have more space to store our product. That is a very expensive shipment. Our products will get damaged if they are left lying anywhere. Can they arrange for the transportation of this shipment to a different warehouse? Yes, sir. They asked if we have some other warehouse we could use. I will get the documents ready to outsource this shipment, shipment to a temporal warehouse. It is costly, but the product comes first. Okay, very good. Thank you, Mary. And Noemi, you did it excellent. Now, uh, who's next? Let me see. Christian. Okay. Uh, me first, Stella. All right. Sir, we just received a call from the warehouse. Uh, the last shipment arrived today, and it seems they don't have more space to store our products. That is a very expensive shipment. Our products will get damaged if they are left lying in anywhere. Can they arrange for the transportation of this shipment to a different warehouse? Yes, sir. They ask if we have some other warehouse we could use. I will get the documents ready to our source uh, this shipment to a temporary warehouse. It is cost costly, but the product comes first. Okay, great. Thank you, Stella and Christian. All right, perfect. Now, Daniel, who are you working with? With Fatima Lourdes. Okay, let's go. Fatima, you first. Okay. Uh, sir, we just received a call from the warehouse. The last shipment arrived today, and it seems they don't have more space to store our product. That is a very expensive shipment. Our product will get damaged if they are left laying anywhere. Can they arrange for the transportation on this shipment to different warehouse? Yes, sir. They asked if we have some other warehouse we could use. I will get the document ready to outsource the shipping shipment to a temporary warehouse. It is costly, but the product comes first. Okay, great. Very good. Thank you, Daniel. All right. And Fatima. Now, uh, let me see who else. Oswin. Okay. Who were you Kenya. working with? Ah, with Kenya. Kenya. Let's go. Kenya, start. Okay. Sir, we just received a call for the warehouse. The last shipment arrived today, and it seems they don't have more space to store our product. Osmin, you got the microphone off. Okay, thank you, teacher. That is a very expensive shipment. Our product will get damaged if they are left light anywhere. Can they arrange for the transportation of the shipment to a different warehouse? Yes, sir. They ask if we have some other warehouse we could use. I will get the document ready to outsource this shipment to a temporary warehouse. It is costly, but the product comes first. Okay, very good. It's costly, but the product comes first. Okay, thank you to you both. All right, Osmin in Kenya. Now, let me see who's gonna be next. Manuel, who are you working with? I'm working with Carla and Gabby. Okay, let's do something. I want you to work right now with Ka, uh, with uh, Gabby, Manuel, then Gabby will work with uh, Carla, okay? 
Okay. Gabby? The first one. Sir, we just received a call from the warehouse. The last shipment arrived today, and it seems they don't have more space to store our products. That is a very expensive shipment. Our products will get damaged if they are left lying anywhere. Can they arrange for the transportation of this shipment to a different warehouse? Yes, sir. They asked if we have some other warehouse we could use. I will get the document ready to outsource the shipment, the shipment to a temporary warehouse. It is a costly, but the products come first. Okay, perfect. Now, Gabby, let's practice with Carla. Sir, we just read, um, no, that's she. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, sir, we just received a call from the warehouse. The last shipment arrived today, and it seems they don't have more space to store our products. Already, that is a very expensive shipment. Our products will get damaged if they are left lying anywhere. Can they arrange for the transportation of this shipment to a different warehouse? Yes, sir. They asked if we had some other warehouse we could use. I will get the documents ready to outsource this shipping to our temporary warehouse. It is costly, but the products come first. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Carla, Manuel, and Maria Gabriela. Now, who's next? Let me see. Now, what is next? Yeah, Noemi. Mm -hmm. Who are you working with, Noemi? With Raquel. I was married. Raquel. Are you on the first yeah. one? Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay, okay. Great. Who hasn't participated, guys? I think everybody has already participated. Let me see. Yeah, so everybody has already participated. So let's move to the next questions, guys. Okay, uh, let me see. Christian, help me read in the first question. What happened to Matt's current warehouse? Okay, what happened to Matt's current warehouse? What do you have there, guys? Any opinion? Turn on your microphone and read what you have, guys. Matt doesn't have a space for the product. Ah, Matt ah, doesn't Matt. have enough space for the product. Okay, thank you, Kenya. Yeah, actually that's what happened, right? Okay, very good. Manuel, help me on reading number two, please. Number two, what could happen to the shipment if it is not careful store? Ah, okay, thank you. What could happen to the shipment if it is not carefully stored? Carefully stored. Carefully. All right, guys, any opinion here? Who wants to participate? I guess everybody got this answer, so turn on your microphone and, and read for me what you have. If they uh, left it lying anywhere, they will be good. Uh, it will get damaged. Okay, good. Well, yeah, I mean, that's what will happen, right? They will get damaged. The product will get damaged if it just left anywhere else. Okay, good. Now, the last question. Daniel, help me reading. What does Matt do about the problem? Okay, thank you, sir. All right, so what does Matt do about the problem, guys? Oh, what? Matt uh, um, search a temporary warehouse. He, he gets but, the, but say uh, that is costly, but uh, the product comes first is the reason for taking uh, a decision for a temporary warehouse. Ah, okay. Thank you, Mary. You were you were about to say something, Daniel? Uh, yes, like this. He gets the document ready to outsource it. This event to a temporary warehouse. 
uh, is costly by the products he comes first. Okay, yeah, I mean, basically what he's doing is like uh, looking for an extra warehouse, right? And he knows that it's going to cost a lot of money, more money, right, than the normal one, but it's just like the, 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 the product is first, right? Okay, very good, guys. You got that sense of, of, of answer, that's totally okay. Now, let's move on to the next page, guys, over here. It says, building vocabulary. Read the definitions below and match the examples to the corresponding terms. Now, let's read this. Uh, who wants to help me out with this? Let me see. Carla, help me out reading what it's a warehouse management, please. Okay. Warehouse management is the control of the day-to-day -day operation of a warehouse, such as the shipping, receiving, put away, and picking of goods. Ah, okay, good. Listen, guys, a warehouse management, it's basically the control of the day-to-day. Day-to-day means every day, okay? Every day. Day-to-day -day operations of a warehouse, such as uh, the shipping, receiving, put away, array, and picking of goods. That is warehouse management okay all that and what about it says here is it the same as a stock control let's read about what is a stock control so you might have an idea now um estella help me a reading please a stock control uh -huh. It's a way to maximize, ma maxim I don't know, <laughs> maximize profit. Yeah, that's maximize. Uh, by maxima? Maximize. Uh -huh. Maximize profit by getting inventory right. And warehouse management is a way to maximize the effic efficient, effic efficiency and effectiveness business business i don't know of <laughs> warehouse operation <laughs> all right I, I, listen listen teacher i don't yes. see i don't ah, see ah, okay well, listen. Very... <laughs> effectiveness 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 Repeat? yeah and and how do you pronounce efficiency 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 thank you and uh, Effectiveness. Effect okay, thank you. Uh -huh. Effectiveness. All right. Thank you to you. Okay. It's funny the way he says I mean, I don't know. Okay. All right. Thank you, Stella. Now, guys, how do you understand this? What is for you uh, a stock control and warehouse management? How do you understand these terms? You have the definition there. All right. And it says, listen. A stock control is a way to maximize profit by getting inventory right. And the warehouse management is a way to maximize the efficiency and effectiveness of a warehouse operations. How do you understand that? Do you think they, they, they can be the same? Mm, I'm not sure, mm, but uh, a stock control um, can be the the best form to organize the spaces in the warehouse, maybe, uh -huh. and the warehouse uh, warehouse management is the control that do that you have to to do every day when you sell or buy some probe, maybe. Uh, okay, it makes sense what you said. Listen, in this case, as it says in here, a stock control is a way to maximize profit by getting inventory right. So in this case, it focuses more on maximizing, all right, the profit just by getting the inventory right, all right? Like, like 
giving away like the product to customers, setting up everything in the warehouse. So in that case, they have everything fixed, right? Talking about, you know, like uh, the products itself. Now, on the other hand, at the warehouse management is a way to maximize, listen, maximize not the profit, the efficiency and the effectiveness of the warehouse operations. It basically, uh, it's in charge of the control of everything that is happening in the warehouse, okay? It's like putting to work the, 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 the workers in there, you know, and everything. So that everything can be working, uh, you know, and functioning perfectly, right? In a very efficient way. So that's the, like the difference that, you know, that we can have between stock control and warehouse management. Now, just to get to know if you have understood these terms, Guys, in here I had two sentences. The first sentence, actually, I'm not gonna read. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of lazy tonight. Help me at reading. Who wants to be the first volunteer? Yeah, I mean, I'm reading too much. <laughs> Anybody? I do, I Anybody? do. Okay, go. Who said I uh, did? It, ah, okay. it tells you where the items and are in and the order in which they need to be picked. Okay, listen. It tells you where the items are in and in order uh, in, in the order in which they need to be picked. What is that? A stock control or warehouse management? In what categories you should you, you, you should set up that? Maybe B. Uh, uh, For B? me it's B, B too. B, B, stock control. Uh, no warehouse management, no A, letter A. I think it's A. Why? Uh, because you say that well, uh, I don't know, but I read the, the other sentences and it say that you have, you know, the, the, all the particular products and I think stock control, it can be in the second one. So I say, that's why I say A in the first one. What else? Who gives more? A or B? A for me. A. For me, B. A. <laughs> for you be okay who gives more aha uh -huh. who gives more guys who I is think that i think is a a okay let's do something cuz uh, i'm not going to be like like everybody like ah to a or b a or b okay good all right, I guess turn on your cameras, guys. Come on. I need to see you. Uh, we're sharing. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if you're like this way and let's, ah, I don't care about the class. <laughs> I don't know if you're like talking on the phone, texting probably to another person. Hey, the class is boring, man. I don't know. I don't understand this class. Blah, 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 blah. Ah, come on, guys. I need to see what you're doing. I may understand the ones that are as a listener, right? Probably they are busy. Probably they are sleeping. I don't know. All right. <laughs> okay. Hey, man, Eduardo told me it was just in 20 minutes. I'm ready. Eduardo, what happened? It's more than an hour, Eduardo. You there? Nah, he's not there. <laughs> Probably he's busy. Okay. In this case, with hands up, who says A? Nobody says A now. Come on, guys. Ah, yeah, only Christian. Jesus Christ. Man. And everybody says B. Mary. Yes. Can you say yes? <laughs> okay. All right. Listen. I'm sorry, guys, but in this case, it's A. A. And you might say, why? Listen, it tells you where the items are, 
okay, where the items are in, uh, in and the order in which they need to be picked. Okay, so in this case, listen what it says in here. Stock control is a way to maximize profit by getting inventory right. This is just inventory and that's it. But what is in charge of full operations in the warehouse? Warehouse management. Because what happens outside, it's basically, you know, like coming in, getting out, trailers full of things. So in that case, it's A. It says like the control of the day-to-day -day operations of a warehouse, such as the shipping, look at this, receiving, put away, and picking of goods. And what it says in here, in which they need to be picked up. So you see, that's why it says in here, right? It's a church of the warehouse management section, okay? And in the other hand, we got this one over here that it says, it means you know how many of a particular products you have and when to order more. So in this case, obviously that's stock control, right? Because it's in, in charge of what? In charge of maximizing what? The inventory, okay? In that case, it's like when you exactly know what kind of product you have, the amount of product that you have, and in what portions of quantities you have that product, right? So in this case, it's B. Right? Teacher, yes. uh, so in this case, uh, the meaning of uh, definition, warehouse, management, and stock control is not meaning that... Uh, one is better than other. No, in this case, both have to be working together because if one is malfunctioning and the other one is working efficiently, it, it, it is not going to be, you know, like matching good. And what is going to happen? The issues that you were talking about in the previous questions and in the conversation, that probably you are going to have a full warehouse and then you won't know what to do with the product right and that will require that you hire extra warehouses you know to store your products and everything so in that case it will be a messed up okay and obviously you will lose money so in this case both sections have to be working hand by hand in this okay case. so in this case warehouse management is like a process uh, to know about the product and receive the product and, and, and the not only, Exactly. Not only receiving the product, but also shipping the product, okay? Giving away the it, product. It, it's, the, 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 it's both. Exactly. Basically, listen, for you to understand in a better way, warehouse management is basically in charge of getting the product, processing the product, and sending away the product out of the, the warehouse and in this case, a stock control is only working inside the warehouse. And in this case, it's like sectioning the products. All right. They okay. know what exact the product is, where the exact the product is, what is the amount of product that they have, and what kind of product they have. All right. It's like just in charge of like the product itself. Like okay. That. So a stock control uh happens. Uh, while all complete process warehouse mini management uh, sources. Yeah, okay. okay. I'll put this example for you guys to understand better, all right? So uh, I am in charge of uh, what? Warehouse management, okay? Good. And we have a store. Let's put it this way. We got a store and I got you, Mary, and uh, Christian working in the stock control, okay? So I am in charge of my providers, all right, to receive, I just received the product, okay? I just received the product and tells you both, hey guys, here is the product, please section the products, whatever you want, you know how to do that with the product. So you, you are in charge of organizing the product inside of the store, Okay, so in this case, you know how much product you have, okay? 
And if I want to, you know, give away the product to, to customers or to extra customers, you know how much product I need to send. Okay, you tell me, okay, listen, uh, we have this product, but we had to send this product to this customer. So I am going to be in charge of setting up everything, uh, like the, the logistics process to send the product. But you are telling me what product I have and what product I need to send, okay? So you are in charge of the product inside the warehouse and I am in charge of receiving and sending the product. Now, you have now an idea how they work? Oh, you're still in the moon. <laughs> now, I guess I guess you you understood this 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 way, right? Yeah, we we understand. <laughs> perfect, perfect. And it and it happens uh, in our company. <laughs> ah, okay. You see, yeah, I mean, both, it, both process, yeah. It happens. Also, yeah, I mean, in, the, in in a lot of companies, in Noemi's company also, right, Noemi? Has to be that yes. way. Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. Because that's a merely uh, logistics company. <laughs> okay, good. Now, that's, uh, you know, like related to warehouse management and then stock control. Now, let's go down in here. It says building vocabulary. It says the following uh, are basic type of warehouses. We got different kinds of warehouses. Listen, match the type of warehousing to its definition. We had three in here. We have holding warehouse, distribution center, and cross docking center. Three different warehouses, okay? Uh, I think for this one, I'm gonna send you to work with your classmates so you might share uh, more opinions about this, okay? What you should do is like, tell me, okay? What goes with number one? What goes with number two? Okay, these definitions. Uh, mm -hmm. describing the types of warehouses services that you will need. Now, we will do this later on if we have time, but I think with this, I'm gonna stay with this. I want you to go discuss this and let, and then when we come back in here, tell me, hey, teacher, holding warehouse is the traditional blah, 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 for example, right? And distribution center is this and cross docking center is this, okay? Give me a second. I'm gonna stop sharing this and I'm gonna send you to practice. I think with why five groups is enough. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Give me a second, guys. What happened in here? Oh my God! I just got two, three, and two. Okay, let's accept, guys, uh, and let's go to work with that. Center. The focus is only on receiving and shipping activities with little no storage. Mm, basically, is he used it to store goods? And before they they transport her to their final destination, I think. With how with little no 
Do you know storage? Do you remember what, what means docking? Docking is like... Uh, I don't know. Cross... Es como acomodar, como, no me acuerdo. Los docking, si mal no recuerdo, son los muelles de carga. Ajá, yes. eso. Mm. Mm. Maybe it's cross docking center because it says uh, like a terminal center with Little or not storage. Oh, I think so. Is I think so. Is distribution center because because the definition is we can be in a terminal is. Sorry, in uh, sorry, in center. Okay, the focus is only on Brazil and shipping activity. A little bit enough storage. I don't know. I I think so. It's distribution center, but but I but but you say it's cross docking center is. Is is big for the for the a, a little a little a little short time in in the in the in the water. I don't mm -hmm. know. Okay, oh, you 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 talk that is uh only the operation to well is the operation to sales in the same time. Okay. For you, no, because distribution center is not like that. Um, it's like receive and sales at the, the same time. Yeah. <laughs> it's cross docking center. It's cross docking center. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I I think so is you have a you have a right you have it's okay <laughs> maybe but lady yes yes we holding warehouse okay this is the number number one uh, the number one is traditional the distribution center is a uh, it's terrible large region, a good source, store short of time, mostly used for picking a consideration order. Console, yes. Yeah, yes, number two, it cross the it can be named a terminal or short center, right? Yes. Yes, yes this. The ions were like, like, ask me. I think it's okay. So we're ready. <laughs> we finished. That's what I'm listening. <laughs> Good. All right. So I'm just gonna go ahead and this and check about this these other people. Okay. Okay. Nice. I think the holding warehouse can be the second one. And cross docking center maybe can be the first one because because it can be naming a terminal or sorting center. Yes, I'm okay. Agreeing. Holding can be the second one, and distribution serving can be the the last one. The last one. Mm -hmm. Okay.
holding warehouse, and the last one, distribution center. Mm, okay. Three, one, two, right? Okay. I don't know, boys. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> oh, space. It's a temporal. Mm. Maria. Yeah, finished, guys. Well, mm. we we don't it. sure. <laughs> We're not really sure. No, We're not sure. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think you're like kind of with with doubting. Come on, guys. <laughs> Oh, but it's understandable. Yeah, we haven't uh, reached out these terms. So if you want, let's go back to the main section and we will check if you were right, okay, on what you wrote. Let's okay. Check. All right. See you there. I see you. What about the, the, the other people are that they are not showing up or what they're coming? They let this the system kick them out from the breakout rooms. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna wait for your classmate guys, because yeah, there are some of them that are, are not joined yet. Okay, no more people are going to. Oh, yeah, I mean, they're coming. They're reaching out. Okay, good. I think everybody is in here. So let's check what you got. All right, guys, uh, I need one volunteer to read this, please. One volunteer, guys. To read a uh, definition, teacher. Uh, only this, the, the concept. What is, what is the, the, the shoes for me? <laughs> uh, okay, okay, tell me that. It says holding warehouse. What is a holding warehouse for you? Maybe holding warehouse is a traditional warehouse whose space is used for temporal and long-term storage. Okay, who agrees with Mary? Who uh, agrees me, with me. me? I agree. Okay, so the question now is like, who disagree with Mary? It's someone that says, me, I disagree with Mary. Nobody? Okay, nobody's disagreeing with you. Yeah, I, I hear that agree. Who is agree with Mary? I see, I agree with her. But the agree, no. In this case, no. Wait, wait, wait. wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You agree and then you disagree. Okay, what? What? You disagree with her right now? I I agree. I agree. Ah, uh, yeah. so you kind of disagree at first, but then you agreed. Ah, uh, okay, good. 
What if I tell you guys that 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 she is not right? What if I tell you that she's not right? Come on, everybody's like silent. <laughs> <laughs> now, guys, that's the correct one. Yeah, what she says is correct. That's that's the correct definition. Okay, <laughs> everybody changed their face like. Oh. So, what is that then? <laughs> okay, good. Now, distribution center. Um, Christian, what's the distribution center? No distribution center. It serves larger regions and goods are stored shorter time. Most of it is used for picking and consolidation order. Guys, who agrees, Christian? I'm agreeing. Me too. Me. All of you agrees, Christian. All right. Uh, me? What about you, Noemi? I agree. You agree. Distribution center. Yeah, I mean, it's like pretty simple, right? It says it serves in larger regions and goods are stored shorter time, right? Because it's a distribution part. Uh, most of it, it is used to pick uh, picking and consolidation order. Okay, yeah. What Christian said is correct, right? Very good. Now, uh, Estella, help me reading what is a cross docking center. Yours is the most difficult, Estella. Okay, teacher. <laughs> um, it's the number one. It can be named a terminal or sorting center. The focus is only on receiving and shipping activities with little to no storage. Ah, are you sure it's number one, Estela? Um, we, we check that, we uh, like, I'm sorry, teacher. I'm sorry, teacher. <laughs> you were not <laughs> I'm, right. No, I'm sleeping, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no <laughs> traditional actually, no, actually, actually, you're, 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 what you said is true. That's the one, okay? <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Traditional warehouse. All right. The space no is used for temporal and long-term storage. I mean, that, that's, that's, that's the one. Okay, but it, it, in this case, it was like cross docking center, right? Okay, and what you read is actually, uh, yeah, true. It can be named as a terminal or shorting center. Like in that case, why? Because in that case, uh, in a cross docking center, what is, it, it happens there is like trailers pass by with the merchandise, with the merchandise. They just check on the merchandise and, uh, and they leave, right? So they, they don't have uh, to store any kind of product in those kind of uh, warehouses. So they just like, it's like a checking port and then the, the, the loads, or the trailers just pass by there, right? It is not like really necessary to be there or with the product there, of course, right? That's like that's why it's called a terminal, right? It's just because the merchandise is just passed by there. Okay. Good guys. Before we leave, do you have any question about what we have been discussing today? Or tonight in this case? No, everything okay? All right, okay, good. Excellent, guys. If everything is okay, so I am going to pass the attendance list and that's gonna be everything for tonight, guys. Give me one second. Hey, by the way, thank you for, for, for doing the homework. All right, uh, I got a lot of people who have been doing also homework from this uh, week and that's pretty excellent guys, thank you. I appreciate the help that you have been doing with the midterm as well. Listen, there are some people, I'm gonna say this in Spanish for you, for you, for you to get better. 
Hay algunas personas que todavía me han hecho nada más el 60% en el midterm. Listen, necesitamos por lo menos un 80% en ese midterm para que no les afecte la, la, la nota al final. Right? So, please, eh, si no han terminado completamente el midterm, try to do it, ¿ok? Traten de, de, de complementarlo. Yeah, because uh, that uh, grade will be really, really, really important to you at the end of the course, okay? It's just, uh, uh, you just take it as advice, guys, okay? So let's uh, start with the attendance list. Uh, Carmen Eugenia. Carmen, okay, so Carmen didn't show up tonight. Uh, Christian Alejandro. Present. All right, excellent. Daniel Arquimedes. Present. Great. Daisy Maricela. All right, Daisy didn't show up tonight. Edwin Alexander. Present teacher. Okay, great. Edwin Vladimir. I'm here, teacher. Present. Okay, nice. Estela Mabel. Present teacher. Excellent. Fatima Adriana. Present. Okay. Fatima Lourdes. Present. Okay, nice. Uh, Jaime Antonio. Present. All right. Eduardo Jose. Hmm. Okay, so Eduardo is not there. Uh, Carla Lisette. Here. Okay, perfect. Lorena Beatriz. Okay, I, can, I think Lorena got issues and she didn't connect. Kenya Cecilia. Present teacher. Okay. okay. Manuel Hi. Antonio. Present teacher. Great. Uh, Maria, uh, Maria, Maria Gabriela. Present. I was about to change your name. Eh? Sorry. It's a fusion. <laughs> exactly. It was a fusion. Hmm. Let me see. Manuel. Uh, it, right, on Friday, I stayed with you in the 10 minutes feedback, right, Manuel? Okay. Okay. I just wanted to know that. Guess what, Gabby? Tonight is your turn. I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, good. Uh, so don't go, okay? <laughs> what did I do? Give me one second. I I lost the attendance list. Oh, Jesus. Me? Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Maria Gabriela. Mary Raquel. <laughs> yeah. Present. Okay, great. Noemi Betsabe. Present. Okay, and the last one, Osbin Alexis. Present. All right, guys. Thank you for getting connected. I really appreciate that. And let's see you tomorrow in another video conference, okay? Good night, guys. Let's Good night, everybody. Bye-bye. Have a night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye, everybody except Gabby. <laughs> Sorry, Gabby. You will leave soon, Gabby. Give me one second. I'm just gonna keep away these people who fell asleep. Uh huh. Okay, great. So this is like you know a short time just for us to clarify any question, any any doubt that, that you might have related to this class, previous classes, or something related to the platform. This is like just a time for you to clarify any question or doubt. Actually, no, I think it was like a little harder to understand some some topics because I got lost. Because and... of the complexity, yeah, I mean, I, I might understand I, me either, but I had to look for a lot of information just to get to know these topics. And I was like, ah, Jesus Christ, I had to know. A lot <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> like if you're worrying, you're already like connected with that, but I don't and I have never been since now. So it was kind of difficult, but I think I'm handling um, okay. Yeah, actually, you do. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly.
<laughs> All right. Uh, what about with the platform? Everything is going okay there. Uh, you, you haven't had uh, any issue. Just with uh, one or two. No, I think what just with one homework that I think there was a mistake in the platform. Oh yeah, man. Aha, uh -huh. that, that 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 you were writing. You you wrote the 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 the, the, the sentence and it shows that. Mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, just that. Mm -hmm. Just that. Oh, okay, only that. All right. So, in general, like everything's been like easy then. Good. Okay, great. Yeah, just a little bit, and, and I'm sorry. I just I, sometimes I get bored, and I I, I prefer. I understand, man. I yeah. understand because some topics are like ah, uh, yeah, kind of weird. And yeah, like like too repetitive. And like it's yeah, very exactly. similar that we saw the last day. Yeah, and I actually this is like the first module I'm handling, uh, which is intermediate. And actually, I didn't know like uh, that I had to spend two weeks only with one single uh, unit. Yeah, it's too much. <laughs> I was going back and forth with a topic, and I was choosing one page ahead, and then I was going back. And I was like, Jesus Christ, what am I doing? <laughs> yes, wow. it's kind of boring. It's also like we are all exhausted. Exactly. That's the thing also, right? Like everybody is exhausted. But at the end, I mean, like with this way of, you know, putting to work in the breakout rooms to your classmates and everything, like everybody likes to participate because, they, they, you know, they give out their opinions. But when they're like in a general like section and I start asking questions, <laughs> they just appear. Like, yeah, yeah, like, so yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, like it's better for me just to distribute them in the breakout rooms and they, you know, like participate with themselves and, and with the other ones. And at least they get distracted, you know, like talking about Yes, yeah, and not not get um sleep. Exactly, exactly. All right. Okay, so mm -hmm. I knew that with you, I, I wouldn't have any kind of issue. All right. So you see, that's everything. Thank you. <laughs> okay, good. You can go to sleep, Gabby. All right. Take okay. care. That's have a sleep. good night. Bye, -bye Gabby. Okay, so basically, uh, tonight's topic, it was like kind of uh, good because we were just, you know, like talking about how to describe the fundamentals of a warehouse management. Uh, we were talking about the different um, warehouse uh, types that, that, you know, like uh, there are. And also be, uh, besides that, as uh, students were um, discussing a couple of questions related to a conversation that basically the conversation it was uh, about issues in a warehouse uh something else that the students were doing it's like they were discussing a couple of questions related like uh when a warehouse uh, you know like of a company reaches its maximum so students were discussing what will happen uh, what were what were like the consequences all right and how these kind of companies uh, you know, like take in consideration what actions to take in consideration to avoid this kind of overcrowding, right? In a warehouse. Uh, what else were they discussing? Ah, yeah, they were discussing about warehouse management and stock control, all right? So they were discussing the differences between these two concepts because um, they got different functions. Right, a stock control is basically a way to maximize profits by getting, you know, inventory right. So basically, it's con uh, stock control people is just in charge about what the product itself inside uh, inside the warehouse. On the other hand, a warehouse management is just a way to maximize the efficiency and the effectiveness of the warehouse operations. So they are in charge of receiving, shipping, putting away and picking goods, right? The products. So it, it's like, you know, like a little bit uh, about everything, but happening outside. And 
the other one previously mentioned it, uh, stock control is mostly inside, right? It's inside. So uh, those were like the main topics that students were discussing, right? Uh, these classes have been mostly about discussion because that way students can practice, uh, you know, like the vocabulary they are learning, they are practicing and getting more fluency, uh, getting better in grammar, right? And uh, that's very good for them because that way they are preparing themselves, right? With more vocabulary, practicing the one that they previously know. And that's like excellent. That's what we are looking for in students. So that was everything for tonight's class. And let's see you in another video conference. Bye-bye.